Do you want to maximize the graphics and resolution on the Quest 2? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. G'day mate, my name's Crazy Critical, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to maximize the graphics and image quality on the Oculus Quest 2. Now I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube showing how to improve the graphics on the Oculus Quest but my way of doing it is how to maximize the quality that you're actually getting from your headset without losing any of the frame rate. Now most likely you know where this is going, you're going to need SideQuest and if you haven't got SideQuest I'm going to show you all the steps on getting SideQuest and if you've already got it I'll leave a timestamp on screen right now so you can skip this part and then go right into the settings of SideQuest. So as you can see, I've got two separate gameplays of me in the uh, environment. And uh, as you can see to my left, that's before, to the right is after. Now, as you can see, in the far distance, uh, there's like plants. And you can see on the left side, it's a lot more fuzzier and it's not as visible as to the right. Uh, I'll even zoom in at one part as well. That's it's especially more detailed as well if you look at the kitchen part and you can see on the uh, counter you can see there's like a bowl of apples with uh, I think that's a blender next to it and you can see on the left side you can't even see the buttons but on the right side you can actually see the buttons even underneath that you can see the books and how sharp they are and clear they are and to the left you can see how fuzzy and uh, low basically resolution wise but in the headset it looks so much better than it does on video so it really doesn't do it justice now as another example i've got another before and after of the game the walking dead saints and sinners which is my personal favorite game on the oculus quest mainly because the graphics are unbelievable and the physics are insanely realistic anyway as you can see to the left side this is by the way with the default textures it doesn't look good on video it does look better on uh, when you've actually got the headset on but it takes away from the realism when you actually see uh, the before compared to after i mean as you can see uh, on the after side to the right and you look at the floor you can clearly see that there's so much more detail that you can actually see compared to the left side. The left side, it just does, it doesn't even look like it's loaded in yet. But if you look to the right, it looks a hell of a lot more loaded in. You can even see the wooden planks on the floor and just how detailed the shadow is that's underneath them to the right. Now you can see on the left side, it does just look a little bit hazy. But onto the right, you can clearly see how detailed just the shadow is alone. Let alone the buildings. The buildings look so much more crisp. And this is just changing two to three settings on SideQuest. Uh, most videos that are out there has just said to change one, which is literally just the texture. But I've got two other things that I do because of how I maximize the textures. So let's just get straight into the video. Okay, so I'm on my computer right now. So at the moment, you only have to do about three steps uh, in able to get side quests and be able to do these uh, settings change. Uh, so yeah, it's, re it's really quick and simple. I'll leave a link in the description to uh, this, which is uh, the Oculus for Developers Suite. Now, this is what you are gonna have to do. Uh, so as you can see there is org manager and you see select organization now I've already got one but you're gonna have to make one yourself and it's really quick and it's really really easy you just press create and then it takes you to this page uh, as you can see here and it will say enter a name now I just picked captain critical just yeah you can pick any name you want and then you just press I understand and then press submit and then you're complete. Then once you've done that, oh yeah, by the way, you're going to have to make sure you sign in with your Facebook, but yeah, that, that's obvious. Now, what you want to do after that is download the Oculus ADB drivers. Now, this is also extremely simple. You just download it. Uh, it comes with a, uh, a zip folder, you just want to unzip it and then 
locate the fold uh, the file that's called uh, Android Win USB INF. Then press basically right click on that. You'll see install and then basically install it on your computer and then you sort it. Then the only thing you've got to do then is download SideQuest. So I'll also leave a link to this as well. This is SideQuest right here where you can see all the games and stuff. So you go on get side quest and then just download the one that you need. So you can pause the video now until you've completed all these steps. Now I'm going to go on to my side quest and show you exactly how to maximize all the graphic settings. Okay so as you can see I've loaded side quest right now and at the top left you can see that my uh, oculus quest isn't even plugged in just yet. But here's another step that you're going to have to do is once you've already done them three steps, you're going to have to go on either your phone or I think you could actually do it on your headset as well. Uh, but you want to go onto your phone mainly, go on the Oculus app and then you need to find developer mode and basically just switch it on. You can also do this on the Oculus headset. I'm pretty sure you can. And so I'm pretty sure if you don't have the developer mode turned on, it won't work so if you've already got that sorted great if you haven't just do that before you uh, go on to this next step okay so I'm gonna get straight into it so once you've got your headset plugged into your PC which is then uh, working on side quest you'll see at the top left it will go green uh, and then once you've done that you want to make sure you press this uh, settings and tools and then it will bring you up with this. Most of you have probably already seen this from other videos, but again, uh, this is a bit different than other videos because I'm showing you how to maximize uh, the image quality. Okay, so let's get on with the settings that's going to increase the image quality. So for the first setting that you wanna change is the chromatic aberration. So for this, you just need to make sure that this is turned off. Now the chromatic aberration, if you want to know about it, it's basically the red sort of haze that you get from certain objects. You can mainly notice this in the distance. Uh, so turning this off, I've noticed that it does help a lot with frame rate. Uh, plus it makes the image just look a lot more smooth. So that's the first one. You need to make sure you press off and then on the side of your headset, just turn it off and then on again and then that'll apply that setting. Now the main setting that you need to change here is the default texture size. Now you've probably already seen a lot of people talk about this and uh, you know some people say 1536, uh, 2048 is the best. Uh, I personally use uh, 3072, I use the maximum and uh, you've probably seen in other videos people say uh, if you have it too high the frame rate is going to stutter like crazy, which it does, it does, but there's one setting that people aren't noticing that you should change once you've set it to the highest possible quality and that is set CPU and GPU level. Now, I've had it on normal and I've had it on level 2, uh, but when you've got it on uh, 2560, it's really good for level 2. When you're on 3072 and then you press on level 4, I've noticed it makes it so much more smoother. So, basically, what you want to do is press on 3072 to maximise the quality that you're seeing. And obviously, you just press on the uh, off button and on button, and that will apply it. And for this one, you want to make sure that you press on level 4. And this is going to help with a lot of other uh, different options in this menu, because it basically puts your Oculus Quest 2 in overdrive mode, pretty much. But if you've got a decently cooled room, it should actually be quite fine. And them three settings are the best ones that you can change that will really improve your whole gaming experiences if you want better performance. So if you ended up enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like. I'm going to start posting a lot more Oculus Quest 2 content, so uh, be tuned for that and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be posting upcoming games, new features, updates, and a lot more. So be tuned for that. So I will see you guys in the next video.